Wait, hang on. What's the line? Hello, Agent Quoba. Where would you like to go? <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a different game. Please, please leave. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Not So Retro. I'm Brian. And I'm Aubrey. And we're back with episode 5 of Killer Frequency. Uh, we are probably about to take a call from Virginia. Um, yeah. I mean, I literally just watched the episode we put out today. That was episode 4. Um, and yeah, that is exactly what's happening. Yep. Cool. Uh, and we're listening to uh, the hang-ups. Um, the hang-ups? Yeah. Yep. I didn't... I... <laughs> At no point in the episode did the name of the song get mentioned. No buckets. No buckets. No buckets. Uh, no buckets. There's gonna be so many, so many ants. God damn it! We're not moving on until we get buckets. Buckets. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you so say who you were? I forgot. You're live on the screen. <laughs> I did. Okay. Forrest Nash. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Parker. Yeah, they called the frat guys. We got some calling, Brandon, and I'd love to call this number. Our plan, it worked. <laughs> yes. We're geniuses. Parker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. Dude, we are classic Goose in it right now. Um... Yeah, yeah, let's go along with it, right? Maybe it'll help. Um, or no. It'll probably it, it'll probably do better in the long run. Sure. Whatever. It, it's Goose. Now, listen. I... Goose, dude. Get your ass to the party. We got so much beer. <laughs> listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brother is awaiting <laughs> Plunker, you. listen. I'm not Goose. I. How can I prove this to you? Let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! Norman the Barbarian? Norman. Can I go to this frat party? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control the radio. That's true. So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay, All right. I'll play the damn song. Good song. Ba, Probably. Ba I don't remember. Ba, 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 All right, here we go. Turn that oh, shit up. Shit. Okay, okay, radio man. Got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just... Say no more. Walker's moving the house. What? You know, All course, right. Line two. Oh. Hello. Oh. You're live on 189. Our first time using line two. Yeah. Stream. Forrest, it's the killer. Oh. He's at the door. Grace. Oh my God. It's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk. I promise. Bye. Well. the beer. Good times are here. I could use a drink. Thank you, Forrest. You're oh, welcome. Wow, was that it? You're welcome, Virginia. And thank well, you to yeah, we did the first half of the mission brothers. already. Some uh, yeah, I guess so, but it was like, Some I thought there'd be more to times. it. We fucking hey, did Forrest, it, chat. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. You know what you meant? There's a janitor here Ooh, at the station that went in. named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. All right, Interesting. Folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, yeah, looks like um, we have another caller. Oh. When you're ready, shut the music off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm always Hello, forgetting Colin. that. You're live on the stream with me. Forrest Nash. And me, Brian. And, and me, Aubrey. To speak with you 
Forest, as a local small business owner, <laughs> oh, I find this all horrifying. I like this guy. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Ooh, terrible. Terrible. <sighs> I hear it. It's a scary time Is for this? everyone in Gallows Creek. Is this the... How are you holding up? No, that was a different. Tonight? That was a different guy. Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. Oh. It's a safe family. Interesting. Family it's place. gone. Oh. Okay, what business? Oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big Buckets. on promotion, but it's reverse Ponty. Yes. Mm. Oh my God, we got Pontied. Come on down. We mu we got, got fucking Pontied. God damn it, Ponty! No, no free ads. You know what? Ponty's the killer. I don't I mean, care. Yeah, right. I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. I can be. Yeah, mad, but he Peggy. didn't know That's about it. Thing. Just, uh, I can be mad. Yeah, I can be but mad, he, Peggy. Let me be now. mad. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. The light's going. not even blinking. Okay, it didn't start blinking until you stopped talking, Peggy. I think you might be, mm, Peggy, you Peggy. Caller, this is Forrest Nat, host of 189.16, The Scream. Buckets. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? What up, Eugene? Caller, what's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And... I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. Oh, bro, okay, oh, oh brother. Out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. Looking that is the, the worst and place to be in a horror movie. You got a special lady coming out oh, to see Oh, we're going to have to direct this guy yeah. out of the maze. Molly. Oh, my God. Plans to get Wait. <laughs> you said it was going to be relevant. Yeah, you said it was going to be relevant. Buckets. Into the love labyrinth. The love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I thought she'd be here an hour ago, and since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Oh, this is just... Should I call her up and ask? This is an actual radio call. call. Wait and see. For real, kid? We're just doing our <laughs> actual job. You've been listening all night. Do you really need to ask? <laughs> yes, that's why I'm calling. Do you really need to ask? Yeah. Eugene, I, do you really need to add? I'm just not sure, you know? Okay, well, okay. Now, here's the thing is that, like, she was supposed to be there an hour ago, right? Yeah. Does she get got? If he stays and waits, is he gonna get, he got? get got? If he goes home, does he get got? Is like, he, is if he leaves? The maze maze? Man. Maybe the killer doesn't know how to, how to navigate the maze maze. Golly gee. Sorry, the amazing maze maze. The amazing maze maze. Well, what do you? What should we do? Hmm. Ha. Huh. I wish we had more more information. Um, I'm going to say stay and wait. Okay. I I will agree with that, and I will stand by you when if it goes bad. Ah, uh, what the hell. <laughs> I really hope we don't kill Forrest, Eugene. That's a terrible idea. Eugene, please go home. Okay, Peggy, fine. Well, then why'd you ask me? My parents are dead. Actually. Oh, but, uh, Eugene, huh? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the... No Hang on. Okay. I hear some oh, sleep. fuck. Oh, Eugene's about to oh, get got. After all. Molly! No, Wait, don't! No! no, Eugene! It'll take a little while to get here, but... uh. Thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. Oh, God. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. Did the bagger at the grocery oh, store? No, this is <laughs> the best night of my life. Not the worst. Oh, brother. Do you know the way out? Just run through the walls. <laughs> uh, no, nah, he can't run through the walls. That would cause too much noise. Yeah, we'll get you out of Stay this. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Carl, I'm about to die a virgin! Took Listen, that your fault. <laughs> yeah, right. right. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. 
Well, no, listeners. I think it's on the. Well, Peggy and I deliberate. Is it on, on the, it the map on the wall? You lovers out there. It is. Oh, we need to put it on a track. Storm Riders. Let Ooh. Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. Jam out with your okay, glam out, dude. To get him through the maze maze. You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze. Yeah, I was going to say, we have to go down and grab the map from the counter, like you said. There's a map on the counter? I thought you just watched the episode. <laughs> well, I watched half of it before work and then half of it after work. Why she your mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Brad. She owes Brad $5. Does I'm every so plan updates in the maze maze? It's fine. I'm not the one who had to go out with that jerk, Brad, after all. Hey, fuck Brad. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. No, there's a map downstairs. I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. There's also oh, a map on find. the wall. That'll hold I think that's enough. just like a picture uh, like to represent the maze. I don't think that's an accurate Barbara representation again. of the maze. Barbara, if it is, know? I win. Barbara. Okay, well... Uh, We'll go see. I don't know what I win, but I win. To her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right. Yeah. Sorry. I guess it's just the stress. Of <laughs> no excuses. So far just ahead go and find this, something to help us. This, uh, dialogue. There we go. We have time for all the creepy background noise. Fortunately, I can't move faster than this, which sucks. Yeah, it's definitely going to suck when we're getting chased by the killer who's right here. Ah. <laughs> oh, I guess I didn't have to walk Yo, all the way through. Yeah. See, Wait, Brian? Cool. Huh? Pictures of cats. <gasps> oh. Aww. Aww. Oh, my God. Those are real cats. Yo, baby. I wonder if they like developer cats. I like this one the best. I like this Sphinx who's yawning. Nah. <laughs> you got me. Nah. All right, all right, Kyle, put it on the put it on the screen. Aubrey loses. Brian wins. Oh, oh boy, are we just, oh, are we starting that counter? Okay. <laughs> all right, it's a fucking competition now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is a competitive let's play. This is a competitive let's play. This is my co-host and also my sworn nemesis. <laughs> Alright, which one of us is Naruto and which one of us is Sasuke? Um... Which one of us is Goku and which one of us is Vegeta? I'm going to say that I'm probably Naruto. I don't know. I That's, am the edgy rival character eternally. I just sort of believe it. Wait, 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 wait. I got this. Hold on. Love that. Love Any that. Luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter Man, right now. Who, it, it's a, That's a question fucking for maze later. to a corner. Eugene it's, called while you were doesn't away. Matter. <laughs> He's on line one. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Okay. Eugene, you're back on air. I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. Good grief. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Okay. Yeah, there you're here. There are painted gold on my right. Okay. Okay, we're not on a time. We're not on a timer. Let's like really look at this. Okay, he said that the golden hay bales are on his right, and he's facing the tractor statue, which means that he is facing east, because that would put the the hay bales to his right, and he'd be facing the tractor statue. Okay. He's facing east. There's no timer, so let's really plot this out, like you said. Okay. Yeah. No. Just. Let me let me look at this. Okay.
no, no, he's no. at two he's, looking at one. He's not facing north, he's facing east. How is he facing Because east? he's facing a tractor statue and the gold hay bales are to his right. And the gold hay bales oh, are okay, two. Okay. And the tractor statue is one. Okay. So yeah, he needs to go left. He needs to, to go, go left. North. Yes, to go north, correct. Go left. And then Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I went left. Then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creeping rocking horse on my left. Okay. So, so he, he needs to go backwards. Uh because he's, he's got the pig statue, pig statue in, front in front of him and the rocking horse to the left. Statue. Yeah. Yeah, so, so he's backwards. facing east still. So he needs to go he needs to go behind him. Right. Go oh god, I love mazes. This is my jam. <laughs> ah! Why didn't I just invite her over? <sighs> Why didn't you just invite her over? There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Statue is five. Uh he's gonna so he needs to go left. He needs to go left. Yep. Go left. <laughs> I feel you, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> Do they be like that, man? A tiny barn in front of me and a scarecrow behind me. Nothing to my sides. So I think he needs to go. He needs to go. Right. Right. He needs to go right. Right. You're right because he's facing south. He's facing. Yeah. Yes. I and mean, we need him to go west. So that yeah. would be for. Yep, right. Oh, right. That game run. is so much fun. Much more. I just passed a cordon silo. Okay. That's good. Didn't see anything else. Okay. Please. He should have passed beehives Where first. Did I go? No, no, he went the other way. Oh, he went this way instead yeah. of the, okay. So he just passed the corn silo, so he's probably facing south. So probably we should go right again. Wait, oh, wait, but this, I don't, okay. Look at, look at. I, he, he just, just passed, passed the corn, corn silo and didn't, didn't see anything else on the way. So yeah, he went up the right path and just passed nine, so he's at the crossroads right there. He's at this crossroads here, so we need him to yeah. go right right because he's facing south right okay Correct. okay go right makes sense to me yes we fucking did it oh don't don't celebrate yet he said he said it's out i can I, read <laughs> I, I, i'm out and my bike's still here <laughs> <laughs> From this picture, it's just me without my bike. Thank you, Forrest. I, I love you, Molly. Uh, Idiot. You fucking dumbass. That was tense. Ooh. Why can't I, I throw this? That was a good one. The whole time. There we go. I think mm. Oh, well, also. come on. <laughs> come on. I think you're right. By the way, why do you? We think did it. Molly missed their date. Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Oh, poor Eugene. I'm okay. And my well, bike's still in, here. <laughs> we'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. All Remember, right. Report a Clive to stay alive. <laughs> forest, so take it away. Report a Clive to stay alive. Oh boy. Collar, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Put it in our pile. Hey, in the trash pile. Tonight, Thank you. That's really wonderful of you to say. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. 
Probably All right, folks. Lurkers. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna oh. find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. Do you, you take it, Peggy? About? Yeah, Peggy. I threw it away. Peggy! You threw it in the trash. Why? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window. Peggy. Early today. Wh why? Peggy! <laughs> Peggy, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. Okay. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So you threw it out the window. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Okay. Oh, are we gonna have to go hour, outside? But I can only take so much. For shame, Peggy. For shame. Yeah, for shame. For shame, Peggy. For shame. I know. You have violated the sanctity of radio. Let's just play a different song. You can't We've play a different song. No, you requested anyway. it. Don's going to get okay, mad. Folks, here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. I, okay. I don't feel good about this. If Me neither. If you dare. No. Doesn't get an introduction. Let's pretend. Of all the songs to request, why did it have to be that one? What's your Dude, deal, Peggy? Peggy? What did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, for we just played that. Song. We have another caller. Yeah, but she's like a groupie. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16. The Screams. Dawn, and she's gonna be this mad. Yeah, right? Uh-oh. Forrest. Oh, it's... Murphy. Oh yeah, it's the, it's the true Murphy. warrior. <laughs> Murphy. Mr. Dojo. Oh. Hey, how'd it go, Mr. Dojo? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no oh, shit, man. no shit, dude. You were like, I, hey, come get me. Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? Uh, that's not important right now. Just tell me what happened. Goddamn piece of... He came to the gallows waste disposal plant. Beat on me, wow. man. Carry me inside and lock me in Holy shit, and you're still alive? Yeah. I got a flashlight, but... Oh god. Oh. oh he's oh. in the I think he started a fire. <coughs> Hold on, Murphy, we'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now or Okay, I'm where's the, the gallows quest disposal plan? Look at the map. Hey, Look at the map. Get the fire department on the line. On it. There there is no fire department, is there? Alright. Now waste disposal's right here. Oh, we're yes, probably gonna have to find somebody at the Ironside Power Station. Plans. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Fire station's all the way what down here. Backup vehicle. It's the Ponties. Oh God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. Ooh, oh no! Know. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they okay. live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But, but he's These are old. too many things really at once, old. Peggy. Okay. These I'll are movie the references, aren't they? Be best to do this. Myers Lane. Oh, good. They're right here. Okay. Um, Alex lives on the corner of Romero Street. Okay, so Romero Street's right in the middle. I'm pointing at my screen like we're in the same room. <laughs> and then... So this is Haddon. Haddon. Okay, Haddon. so... Okay. See if you can put the, the post-it note where it is. Okay. That's probably the best. West, West end, end of Myers, Myers Lane. Lane. I don't see Myers Lane. Oh, okay, there it is. I don't think we want to bother old man Jericho. What is that the east end of Myers Lane? He's, so he he's is... closer. He's here, uh, which is like I think probably the closest. But that's an old guy. It's an old... No, it's probably Alex is probably the one we want. Yeah. 
Yeah, the fire department's way the fuck over here, so I think we should yeah, go with we'll Alex. Alright, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Call Alex. Alright, give me a second. How is Murphy calling from inside a dumpster? Mm. I haven't really been a thing yet. <laughs> I don't know. There's a phone in the dumpster. Dumpster phone. Dumpster phone. It's how the homeless people call each other. Hello? It's me, Zordberg. I'm there. calling from Let's my dumpster. You know, you know, Brian. Mm -hmm. I'm. I'll be the first to tell first you when you a have call. a good impression, but I don't think you got a good Zoidberg. Zoidberg's hard to do. That's true. Are you sure you? What's happening, Peggy? Talk to me, Pegs. Alex was too far away, too slow. What? The plant what? burned down. What? It collapsed. So Murphy is. <sighs> Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. Ah. Uh, uh, forest. His his forest. father died a hero. <laughs> his father died a hero. That's just dumb. Protected. That's God. Actually, pretty nice, Forest. We're gonna send an old man to help this guy with a serial killer on the loose. That doesn't make any they sense. They were the same distance for away. And for uh, Alex was like over here. It's and then be... that guy was oh, over here. Yeah. Was Jericho is fine. closer, but like, like, fuck, they they tricked me by saying he was right, an old folks, guy. Another of our good the game tricked you again. Online. Let's see what they have to say. Hang on, pause Welcome it. Let's see what they have to say on the next episode. Oh, wow. Did we already do a whole episode? Yeah, Bestie, it's been 27 minutes. Wow. I was just having so much fun. I didn't even feel like it. Yeah, dude, this game rules. Yeah, also, 38 buckets? Come on. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Oh, I wish I had seen what we were at before. I think it was like 18. I don't even know, honestly. I, I Well, we can find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, bye everyone. Bye-bye.